Hello friends, in the series on income tax cases, today we will discuss a very important case on the issue of condonation. As all we know that whenever a litigant has to file his or her appeal, he has to file his appeal within the period of limitation. If the litigant is not able to file his appeal in the period of limitation, then it is essential to entertain the appeal that first of all the litigant should apply for condonation because before hearing the appeal, the application of condonation is being heard of. There are some basic principles of condonation which has been discussed by the Madras High Court in the case of Rarefield Engineers Private Limited versus Assistant Commissioner of Income Tax. And this case has been reported in 459 ITR at page number 766. The date of the judgment is 27th March 2023. In the present case, the Madras High Court discussed the principle of condonations which have been laid down by the Honorable Supreme Court in the case of Isha Bhattia Charji versus Managing Committee of Raghunathpur Nafar Academy 2013. In the present case, the court said that while deciding the application of condonation, the approach should be liberal, pragmatic, justice oriented and the approach should not be pedantic approach. Courts are not supposed to legalize injustice but are obliged to remove injustice. In other words, only because that the litigant is not able to file his appeal on time, the injustice should not prevail. Whenever the application for condonation is being filed, it is the primary duty of the litigant to prove that there was sufficient cause due to which the litigant is not able to file his appeal on time. The court said that the sufficient cause should have a very elastic meaning and it should not be given a very narrow meaning. The court said that justice being the paramount importance and the court further said that practical technicalities considerations should not be given undue emphasis. The court said that there is no presumption that can be attached to deliberate causation of delay meaning thereby that whenever a litigant is not able to file his appeal on time, it cannot be presumed that there is some deliberate attempt on the part of the litigant. But at the same time, gross negligent or gross negligence on the part of the counsel or litigant is to be taken care of. In deciding the application of condonation, lack of bona fides is a significant factor. The court further said that adherence to the strict proof should not affect public justice, meaning thereby that if there is a delay in filing the appeals and the litigant is not able to give the exact proof that what was the cause of delay, then only because of the strict proof his application should not be rejected. But at the same time, it cannot be allowed a totally unfettered free play, meaning thereby that the litigant should not take it as a right that whenever he will go to the court with delayed appeal, the court will allow the condonation. The court said that there is a big difference between inordinate delay and delay of short duration. The doctrine of prejudice is attracted when there is inordinate delay, meaning thereby that when the small delays are there, they should be condoned, but when the appeal is filed after a very long period of time, then it should be taken care of that the other party is not prejudiced by that. The conduct and the behavior of the party who is asking for condonation is very important. For example, if a litigant always goes for condonation in all his appeals or in maximum of the appeals, then in that cases a very strict approach should be taken.
the grounds which are fanciful expose other party unnecessary to uh, fair litigation sometimes it happens that when the litigant goes to the court with delayed appeals with fanciful grounds then in those cases those grounds should not be accepted for the condonation of delay the court further said that no one should get away by recourse to the technicalities of law of limitation which can be understood in a way that if the litigant is not able to file appeal because of sufficient reasons then the other party should not get the benefit of that so in this case a lot of principles were discussed by the court about the condonation and ultimately the condonation was allowed to the assessee but the take uh, but the take away from this case is that the assessee should not accept it as a right that whenever he will uh, delay the process of filing the appeals the, uh, he will go to the court and the condonation will be allowed it should not be understood in that way condonation is a very important assignment and it should be taken and whenever we file the condonation application we should try to explain each and every day of delay at the end of this video once again i am repeating the name of the case the name of the case is rarefield engineers private limited versus assistant commissioner of income tax and this case has been reported in 459 itr at page number 766 the matter has been discussed by honorable madras high court and the date of the judgment is 27th march 2023 thank you friends